Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if it's your first time here. Today we'll be making a tumbler using the March Peachy Palette from Peachy Olive Glitters. I'm going to take you through and show you each of the colors individually and then we will put together a really fun tumbler design using those colors. If you don't know what the Peachy Palette is from Peachy Olive Glitters, it is a monthly box where you get four brand new colors at a discounted price. Those colors do then get released a little bit later as individuals. So if you are not able to get the palette, you can still get the colors. So if you weren't able to get the March palette and you want to remake this tumbler design, or if any of the colors just really speak to you and you got to have them, they will be listed on the Peachy Olive Glitters website individually. I will have links to everything I'm using in this video down below in the description box as always. And of course, you know, I've got some discount codes down there for you, as well as links to all of my social media pages, my Facebook group, and my exclusive mentorship group, MBMM Elite. So be sure to check out all of that stuff as well. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go. Before we get into the tutorial, I'm going to show you the four colors that came in the March Peachy palette. With every palette, you get a super cute sheet of stickers that are all peachy themed. I love getting these. The first color in the palette is probably my favorite one. This is Screech, and it is a multicolor kind of black mix. It's got neon pink and neon orange mixed in. It's really beautiful. The next color is Radical. This is a mix of a like baby blue in a neon yellow color super pretty it's like a mini chunky and then we've got our only fine in this box this is a rainbow bright color mix that's called 80s baby and then finally we have techno which is a neon yellow mini chunky cut so as you can see this is a very bright palette perfect for summer it definitely has those like 80s and 90s nostalgic bright color vibes I really love this palette. I do want to share that Techno is a color match for a few other peachy colors. So we've got Highlighter, which is the multi-mix big chunky, then Techno, and then you can match to Lemon Heads and Laser Tag. So you've got all the same color in all of these different sized cuts. I did put everything under epoxy just so you could see what all the colors look like. Obviously, we're going to use them on the tumbler, but I just wanted to show you as a little swatch set. So there's all four colors under epoxy, and now we're going to get into the tumbler design. We're going to be doing a vertical split design on this tumbler, so I'm going to start out by splitting my cup in half vertically. I just place my painter's tape and then I measure my halves to make sure that they are even. Typically I have to do a little bit of adjusting, but I always measure and make sure that my halves are the same width. I'm going to base paint the first half of my cup with flat black spray paint from Rust-Oleum and we're going to start with the darker side of our tumbler first and we are going to use Screech from the palette. So once the paint has dried, I'm going to apply a very thin layer of epoxy to this half of my tumbler. We're going to use the epoxy method to apply the glitter. So you want to apply a very thin even coat to this half and then go right in with your glitter. We're just going for full solid coverage on this half. Look how pretty Screech is. Ugh, I love it so much. Once the glitter has been applied to the tumbler, I'm going to take my gloved hand and pat down all of those big chunky pieces so that they're lying flat on the cup. We don't want to deal with a lot of pokey bits later, so I'm going to lay that flat, make sure that everything is good, and then once it's dry, I waited about two hours, I'm going to remove the tape from the other half of the cup, brush off any excess glitter, and then we're going to tape off this side so that we can paint and glitter the other side. When I'm laying my tape down, I am leaving just a tiny little sliver of a gap so that my tape will stick to the stainless steel tumbler and not have any chance of lifting and getting any of the spray paint onto that other glitter side. And we're going to be doing a peekaboo on one half of the cup, so that will get covered up with paint and you won't even be able to tell in the end. So I'm going to tape this side off and then we're going to go in and base paint this half of the tumbler. On this side, we're going to do a glitter ombre, so I'm going to paint a neon blue-ish color and a neon yellow color. These are the iron lac paints from Hobby Lobby. So the colors I'm using are Torguay, I think I'm saying that right, and Nitro. I'm going to do the blue on the bottom and the yellow on the top. I 
I let my paint dry for about 30 minutes in front of a space heater and now I'm going to go in with the epoxy method again to apply our glitter. So for our glitter ombre we're going to be using two colors from the palette of course. On the bottom we're going to take radical which is the blue and yellow mini chunky mix and we're going to put that on the very bottom of the cup and then start to build our fade up from the bottom. So I'm going pretty heavy on this bottom about inch of the cup and then I'm going to start to fade that color lightly up to that yellow section of the cup. Now these two colors are going to be very easy to blend together because the blue mix already has that highlighter yellow kind of tone in it, which is going to make it really easy to blend in with the highlighter yellow tone we're gonna put on the top. Next, we're going to take Techno, which is that neon yellow color, and I'm going to go pretty heavy with my coverage on the top inch of the cup, the same way we did with the bottom. And then I'm going to hold my cup at a 45 degree angle and lightly sprinkle that glitter moving down into that blue section. You're not going for super full coverage yet. Um, we are going to build it up as we go. I'm holding my glitter shaker really high so that we just get that nice natural fall of the glitter. I am going a little bit more heavy handed with the techno than I did with the blue, but we're going to build that up again anyway. So after I'm done with the yellow, I'm going to go back in with radical and start to go a little bit more heavy in my coverage. So I'm really bringing that blue color almost all the way up to the top of my cup so that we can get that nice blue fade into the yellow. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go again back in with Techno and you can see I'm going way more heavy with my coverage here because most of the surface area of our cup is covered already. So now we're really just building the blend. Once I'm done with my two chunkies, I am gonna go in with two finer cuts. So for the blue, I'm taking bell bottoms and I'm gonna do that exact same process. I'm gonna just kind of sprinkle that lightly up into the yellow section, being a little bit more heavy handed in my coverage on the bottom half of the cup. And then for the top, I'm taking lemon heads, which is the fine cut neon yellow. And you can see I'm just pretty much covering the entire surface of the cup at this point. I really just wanna fill in any blank spots that we have still showing. After that, my fade was built up to a place that I liked it, so I was done glittering, but of course you can go back and forth with your colors until you have a fade that you're happy with. Once I'm done with my glitter, I'm gonna remove all of my tape, let my cup dry for a couple hours, and I'm gonna go in and seal each side of my cup. I'm using my favorite mix. This is a 50-50 mix of water and the Crystal Act glitter glue, and I'm gonna brush it onto my tumbler each side um, by itself. I'm going to clean my brush in between. I'm going to let the sealer dry at least two hours and then go in with two coats of epoxy. After my two coats, my cup should mostly be pretty smooth. I am going to do a little bit of sanding because we're going to do a peekaboo next. I'm starting off by cleaning up the very top rim of my cup with my craft knife. I'm just getting rid of any epoxy that's up there. And then I'm going to go in with an 80 grit sanding block and then followed by a 120 grit sanding block. And I'm really going to focus up on that top rim, try to get that as smooth as I can. I'm also going to focus a lot of my sanding on the bottom rim. That's typically where you'll have the most texture in your glitter, the most kind of chunky, pokey parts. And because we're doing the peekaboo, we want this to really be as smooth as possible. So focus a lot of your sanding on the top and bottom rims. You can do any sanding on the body of your cup as well. Your ombre side does not need to be as smooth as your peekaboo side at this point. Um, that's going to get a few more coats of epoxy towards the end and it'll be fine. But you really want the peekaboo side to be perfectly smooth. Once I'm done sanding, I'm gonna wash my cup with dish soap and water, and then I'm gonna tape off the side of my cup that we're gonna do the peekaboo on. We're doing the peekaboo on Screech, that side. So I'm gonna tape off my ombre side, and you can see I'm leaving that little stainless steel gap that we left earlier when we taped off the half of our cup because that's gonna be covered by our peekaboo paint. So we wanna leave that exposed when we tape off our ombre side. I want my decal to take up a lot of the space on this half of the tumbler. The larger you make your decal, the more glitter is going to show through your peekaboo. So I wanted to make mine as large as possible. So I measured this half of my tumbler. It's 4.75 inches wide and my cup is eight inches tall. I'm using a 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven. So I decided to leave about a half an inch on each side of my decal, which would give me a 3.75 inch width. 
I cut the decal out of stencil vinyl and now I'm going to reverse weed it before I put it on my tumbler. I'm doing this because this decal has a lot of really tiny letters that might be difficult to weed without losing any of the elements. This decal is a hand lettered SVG by me. So this will be available on my website if you would like to use the same one I am. So I put my transfer tape on, then removed the backing. And as you can see here, I'm going in and just removing as much of that excess vinyl as I can. And then once I've got this decal on the tumbler, I'll go in and remove any excess vinyl that's left. Now it's easy to do this once the vinyl is on your tumbler because it's going to stick to the cup a whole lot better than it's going to stick to the backing. So you have less of a risk of losing those tiny little letters. So I'm going to place this down, make sure that it is centered in the middle of this half of my cup. And then we'll use the hinge method to actually apply the decal to our tumbler. So I'm going to lift up one side of the decal after it's adjusted and cut off half of the backing, place that half of the decal down, and then remove the rest of the backing to apply the entire decal to the cup. Now that the decal is placed, we can take our little tweezers here and just remove all of that excess vinyl. Once that's done, we'll be ready to paint right over this. I'm using ultra matte white spray paint from Rust-Oleum and I'm gonna do two very light coats. I'm waiting about 15 minutes in between each coat. And on the second coat, I let it sit and dry for maybe like two to three minutes. I want a little tiny bit of tackiness because as you can see here, I'm going in with Bright, which is an extra fine white glitter and I'm going to do a very light sprinkling on this half of the cup and then I'm going to go in and almost do like a tack it method technique. I'm going to go in and kind of burnish that glitter down, get rid of all of the excess that's kind of just sitting on top of the paint. I really want to like rub this in and give this a very subtle soft sparkle. This step is totally optional. I was really just kind of playing around to see what would happen um, and I always love more glitter so can't go wrong with that. But basically here all you're doing is looking for a very light shimmer. You could also use a white sparkly mica powder for this technique or if you wanted to you could actually go in with the Aileen's Tacket and do a real Tacket method but doing it with the spray paint worked out just fine. So after that was done I let my cup sit and dry for about an another 20 minutes and then I was ready to go in for peely peely time. I'm going to very carefully peel up all of the decals from this side. Now on this word I had a little bit of paint movement here so it kind of bled through the stencil vinyl and I'm just going to take a really sharp, small, angled paintbrush, dip it into a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and basically like you would if you got like nail polish on your fingers when you're painting your nails, you're just going to go in and kind of remove that paint very carefully um, and it'll clean right up. So don't worry if you have a little bit of leakage or movement when you do your paint. I added a thin coat of epoxy to my tumbler to seal that peekaboo side in. I think I only used maybe 10 to 15 milliliters of epoxy. And once that was cured, it was time to add our next little detail. So I'm going to start by sanding down the top rim of my tumbler one more time. And I'm not worried about messing up that spray paint you see there at the top rim, it's kind of getting messed up. I'm gonna cover that up right now, so I'm not worried about that. But if you are going to not do this step, I would do another coat of epoxy on your tumbler before you go in and sand your top rim. So the only reason I sanded down my top rim at this step is because as you can see here, I'm gonna cover it right up so I didn't care if it got messed up. 
So after looking at my peekaboo, I wanted to see more of this glitter that's underneath. So I'm going to go in and add it on top. Now, obviously it would be a whole lot easier if you just included these striped sections in your peekaboo, but this is also a good option if you wanted to do your peekaboo, but then also add some glitter striping in maybe a different color to just add some more dimension. So we're going to just do the same color though. <laughs> so I cut these black stripes out of Oracle 651 vinyl. They are 0.75 inches wide and I'm putting one at the top rim and one at the bottom rim. I'm also going to paint the bottom half of our tumbler so everything flows nicely together. And then we're going to go in with some Mod Podge and glitter this using Screech, the same color we used for our peekaboo. I let this glitter layer dry for about an hour and then I sealed it with the same sealing mixture, the glitter glue and water mix. And then I added another two coats of epoxy. These were very thin as well. I think they were about 15 milliliters a piece. And now I'm going in and doing another round of sanding. I'm gonna add all of my vinyl striping next. So I wanna make sure that my cup is as smooth as can be so you don't see any bumps underneath your vinyl striping. Starting with my black stripes, I'm using the same Oracle 651 vinyl and I'm gonna lay these down on each half of the cup and then also to finish off the edges of the glitter section on the peekaboo side. I wanted to bring a little bit more of that really pretty bright blue color onto our peekaboo side to make sure that they look a little bit more cohesive. So I'm using this really pretty holographic emerald green vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft, and I'm gonna layer these stripes right on top of the black. So I cut these at half the width of our black stripes. So these are 0 0.08 inches wide. To finish off the bottom of our tumbler, I'm going to add an acrylic logo tag. These are from Mizzy's Doodles. These are the silver ones, so you don't need to paint the back or anything to make them pop. They'll pop right off your background. And I'm going to attach this with some UV resin. I use CC DIY UV resin. It's the one that's worked the best for me. So I'm gonna put a little dot of that on the bottom of my tumbler, stick the tag in there, cure it for two minutes, and then I'm gonna add my final two coats of epoxy to the entire tumbler. Once those are cured, we are all done. So here is the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every Tuesday and Saturday, and you don't want to miss them. Now, if you like the colors in this palette and you want to win them, I have a giveaway for you. 
first of all, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. And now I'm going to tell you about this giveaway. So I'm actually going to give away not only the March Peachy palette, but the last three. So January, February, and March. Now there are a few things you need to do to enter the giveaway. You need to do all of these things to be entered. So the first thing is, of course, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment on this video, be positive, please. The next thing is join my Facebook group and comment on the giveaway post in that group so I know who you are and I can contact you if you win. And then the last thing is to also join the Peachy Olive Glitters Facebook group. I will contact the winner via Facebook Messenger myself, so please do not engage with any comments down below this video saying that you won spammers, bots, anything like that. Anytime I do a giveaway on this channel, the comments are filled with bots. Please ignore them. I will contact you on Facebook if you win. The giveaway ends the 18th, so you've got about a week to enter. I'm really excited and I hope that you guys are too. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy these bloopers. Okay, love you. Bye. Tumblr tutorial. <laughs> Real that is... Uh... In today's video, we're using why am I talking like this? Kind of summary, what am I doing? <laughs>